Hey y'all, what y'all doing? It's Shelby, we're in Shelby's Crafty Corner, and today we are making a cemetery cone. So let me get you guys pulled up here while we wait for a few people to come in. Oh, I forgot to put, send out my text message. Whoopsie. Please forgive me. I don't think I have it set up on my iPad yet. Oh well, hopefully everybody gets notified. I hope y'all are having a fantastic day today. It's Thursday, so it's Friday Eve. Happy Friday Eve, Eve. Can y'all hop in, say hi, say where you're watching from. We're just going to make a quick cemetery cone arrangement. So today is the 15th anniversary um, that my grandfather passed away. Him and I were super duper close. Um, so, you know, it's pretty sentimental. Sorry. For my grandmother to take and put on his grave. How are y'all? Hi, Alice and Anna and Molly. How's everyone doing? So we're going to start off with this cone. This just came from Hobby Lobby. Hey, Stephanie. All right, let's open this up and let's just make something together real quick. Y'all want to? won't take near as long as a wreath because it's just an arrangement. It's going to be super cute. So I'm thinking we're going to use blues and sunflowers and some greenery and it's just going to be really pretty. We are going to start with our greenery first and then we're going to build up from there. Hi Carla. Y'all come on in. We're just doing a quick live. I usually do quick lives. I kind of work and I'm a pretty good multitasker. I kind of work just like I'm texting my husband right now because he's like, are you going to be in line to get the kids? I'm like, yes. He usually picks up our kids from school, but he had to go run. Um, an emergency errand. <sighs> it's been a day. Y'all, it has been a day. It's been a week, honestly. Honest to goodness, it's been a week. It's been a year, really, but we're just going to call it a week, okay? <laughs> it has been a week. So, yeah. He's um, headed two hours away to pick up a part for a trailer and then hopefully be back in time for T-ball. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. So, when y'all hop in, say hi. Give me some hearts. Give me some something. Let's show some activity. Okay, so I just pushed some of these up, and we're just going to start adding them. Let's see, the cone. I think she usually cuts them off. The cone, though, it sits in there like that. has this little lip on it. So, I'm going to put some... In the side, I don't want to go down too much. I don't want to make it crazy. So I'm just going to start gluing these in. I should have got something to hold this. Oh well, we're going to make it work. Hi, Carla and Rochelle. I hope I said your name right. Raquel, Rochelle, Rochelle. I hope y'all are having a good week. Now, the good thing about today is I woke up to a message saying that school was starting two hours late, so I got to roll over and go back to sleep. That was nice. Super nice. So, it is about that season where everybody's going to be replacing their cemetery arrangements. Getting them ready for spring and Memorial Day and Labor Day and Independence Day and all those things. Freshen them up. So, but this one's for personal use. It's not going in the Etsy shop, but there's actually one behind me right here. That's for a friend. I'm actually making her two crosses with some stakes to put out at the grave sides. Now, those are super pretty. They're actually really big. And those are fun to make. I say fun to make. It's so sad. 
but it's like, you know, it's like when you're making something beautiful with beautiful flowers and arrangements and different things like that, it's like, it's so sad, but at the same time, you're like, you know that that person, you know, you're, you're remembering their life and the beauty they brought to your life, just like flowers. Hey, Sherelle, what's up, girl? Just, you know, the beauty they brought to your life and you're, you know, commemorating their memory with beautiful flowers. And so, my grandfather's been gone 15 years, and it doesn't seem like that long. I can, I remember the way he smelled, I remember the way he spoke, um, I remember the sound it made when he walked down the hall, because he always had change in his pocket. <laughs> so, it's just a beautiful thing. We miss them, but Lord, I know he's up dancing in heaven. He loved Jesus. I cannot wait to see him again one day. Until then, we will put flowers on his grave. Even though he's not there, he's in heaven. It's just a vessel. I'm gonna get. I'm, apparently, I'm getting on Facebook and preaching today. Lord, help me. Get it out of here. I'm gonna get some Jesus on. All right, so we got some greenery. Now we're gonna add this beautiful bush. Like this is gonna be a super fast project. Showing y'all how easy it is. You can really just throw some things together and make it into something beautiful. This is a 60919 bush that I love, but these things on here look like Christmas trees and we're not trying to go Christmas. We're trying to go summertime. I always cut those pieces off. Hey everyone, hop it on. Get in there. There we go. See with that greenery and that piece, you just spread that out and it's already like super full. been in my feelings a little bit today though it's like every song that came on the radio was sad so I was struggling a little bit I was struggling it's standing on its own so it's nicely like it's like evenly balanced proud Proud. I was at Hobby Lobby yesterday, and I gotta say, I'm thoroughly disappointed that Easter is only 50% off. Like, Easter is over. Like, y'all need to be like Walmart and put that 75% out there. Like, let me stock up. Get this out of the way. Like, nobody wants, nobody's going to pay 50% off Easter. That's ridiculous. It's supposed to go 50% off like weeks ago. I need some 75% off Easter. And they also need to hurry up with that patriotic. Because that's coming to pass really soon. And y'all know what happens in July. July is when they start putting out that Christmas. They put out their Christmas stuff in July and it makes us crafters so happy. I have no idea where I got this wisteria. I've had it for forever. My little puppy's been chewing on it too. Some flowers are missing. But since this is for my own family, I can get away with it. Y'all, my kids, they're texting me about dinner. What time is it? It's 2.30. What's for dinner? 
what happens when you have all boys. I don't know if girls are that way or not, but my boys sure are. They're always hungry. All right, so I'm just going around the side. Isn't that pretty so far? I'm loving the blue. Oh, this is a big piece. This one needs to go in the middle somewhere. Maybe I'll add those. If I'm not burn myself, I'm about to burn myself. Ah, I did it. Wedding season two. So it's like, it's like flower arrangement season. So it's like cemetery stuff, wedding stuff. It's really all the seasons. When it starts warming up, everybody gets outside and everybody starts wanting to freshen stuff up and bring new life. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's add some of our bigger flowers and then we can fill them up and work around them some more with some greenery. These blue roses are pretty. Super pretty and bold. Let's do, let's do three. We're gonna do three at first. I'm not muted anymore. Mute myself. Hi, me. Alright, trying to find a hole. That's so gorgeous. Look at that blue. Then when we start adding the pops of yellow, it's going to be awesome. Like it's a wedding bouquet. Dun 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 dun. dun. Look how pretty that is. Oh, it's so wispy. All right, let's get some sunflowers up in here. Yes, those. Look at that sunflowers with those blue. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Leave them long so they can be just airy and flowy. so quiet. Why are y'all so quiet? I'm just sitting here talking to myself. <laughs> They're gonna start thinking I'm crazy. Which isn't totally completely far from the truth. But still. Oh okay so these sunflower stems are a little flimsy. They're gonna give me kind of a hard time. I can tell. Might have to just because they're plastic, and so when I get that hot glue on there, they're kind of melting and losing their strength. Might have to pre-poke some holes a little bit. We're gonna see if we can make it work. I think we can. I think we can, I think we can. I'm pull a Thomas the train. Woo! Some of it's questionable. Get it in there. I feel like if I sing to it, it's going to work a little better. Oh, yeah. Just glue my finger to it, that's all. That's it. Ah, oh, thank you for the hearts. 
I don't see them on my phone, but I can see them on my iPad when the hearts are sprinkled. I love it. Thank you. Thank you for the hearts. Makes my heart so happy. Come on. Ow! Come on. Look at that. Look at the boy with the sunflowers. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. That's so gorgeous. I love it. Hello from Florida. Hey, how are you? Oh, Florida. I love Florida. Thank you so much, Vicki. And Corinne, did I say your name right? Thank you, Corinne. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. All right, we got a few more to add in here. Okay, that time I really did burn myself. <laughs> that time was kind of bad. Sometimes things don't go the way you plan. This is going fantastic, minus the um, burn to the fingers with these sunflowers. There we go. That one I don't put glue on. Okay, so usually with this foam, like the cemetery cones, the hard foam like this, they're not going to come out. Unless somebody's yanking on them, they're not going to come out. The wind's not going to blow them out. Like, they're going to last. So, don't necessarily have to glue them in. If it's for a customer, I would recommend it. I'm just not on, the, on some of these, especially at the top. I am loving these sunflowers, though. I call it 243. All right. See, this is so quick. And most of me talking and burning myself. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Thank you. Uh, okay, is it Neva? Neva? Thank you, Neva. Ne Neva? I would think it's Neva. Gosh. I hate that I can butcher names. Okay. Let's see, I have one more. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put it. I think right in here. Yeah, I like that a lot. And then I can just come in here in the base, squeeze some glue around some of these pieces that I think need some. But look how pretty that is, guys. Is that not so gorgeous? And we really didn't even use a whole lot of stuff. I'm loving that. All right, we do need a little more filler, I think. Let's see. Do we want orange or do we want yellow? Oh, we might go orange. Look at that orange. We're going to want orange. We are going orange. I like that. I like that pop of color. And this is just going to be some ground coverage. So now we're coming in and covering that foam up a little bit, getting us some ground coverage around the bottom to fill this in as a full piece. Let's see if that's enough. I'm just in here cutting the lock away. And I'm just going to work my way around the bottom. I'm going to get back around. Y'all can see how gorgeous this orange looks. We're almost there. Do you see it? see it. It's so pretty. Oh, 
that was definitely need some glue. So see, that one I put in there, it kind of made a big hole. So I'm definitely gluing that down. Whoops. Yeah, that's filling that in. It's just a pop of color. I'm gonna get a couple more pieces. I'm gonna run some to the inside. I've been a super huge fan of these orange flowers. I really like the way that they feel in places and just like they're, because they're orange and yellow, so it's like an ombre color. I just think it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, we're gonna use more because I'm liking how it just fills it up all the way. And there's a lot on this bush too. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this. I love this so much. I love when things come together, especially when you have no idea how they're going to come together. Well, I'll push that one too far. It's okay. I'm going to find a filler place for it. Look at that. Isn't that like a, would that be a gorgeous summer wedding bouquet? I think so. Something similar to it, you know. I'm doing it for a cemetery. Probably need a little extra for a wedding, but still. Beautiful, right? It's like farmhouse -y. I think it's so gorgeous. Now, we could put a bow on it. Do we want a bow? Let's see. Let's see what I got. I mean, it is going to be in the weather. So you probably want some weatherproof. We do have this cute sunflower black and white bow, though. That could be really pretty. So I think we're going to just stick with a bouquet. Yeah, we're just going to leave it bouquet. leave it like that leave it how it is all right let's take a look at it it's really beautiful I'm thinking I love it what do y'all think hearts hearts do we have hearts or do we have mad faces do we love it or hate it don't look at the cone you're not gonna see the cone that's the ugly part look at this look at this I could put another blue rose in the middle let's see Maybe. It doesn't want to go in. It must be on some glue. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that kind of separates out those yellow sunflowers also. I think I like that. Just filled it in a little bit more. a little bit more filler. I like that. Isn't that pretty? Just so simple. Super simple design on this Thursday. Hi, Smokes. You want to say hi to everyone? Y'all look at the baby. Nice. Look. Look, there's you. Look. This is Smokey. He stinks. He needs a bath. It's my little love bug. Yes, it is. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. Hope y'all have a super fantastic Thursday. Hope y'all have a great Friday. Um, I hope my Friday goes better than this week has. Fingers crossed. Pray for us. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great rest of your week and a great weekend. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.